there guys welcome to the channel today I'm gonna to be doing an installation video for the pumpkin head unit so this is the one with the Android 8.0 and um, so I'll be installing both the Apple CarPlay and the head unit on this video uh, so the first thing you'll have to do obviously is get the three pins uh, uh, the two pins basically so you put it through there and pull it out so I'm just gonna quickly get the pins so these are the pins that you will need so all you gotta do is just put it through carefully because they do scratch it if you put it on top so you just gotta be careful there we go so once it's clipped in there it should come out sometimes you turn it out the other way There we go. So you just push a bit more that way, it should come out. So take these out, put that in a safe place because you will need these. So pull it out carefully. And there you go, you got two wires. You got the radio one here. So you just push it in. There you go. And then those two has a little tab uh, in between on both sides. So you push it in and lift it up. There you go. So you got one of these little mechanism here. And that one, you could just put that to the side. And what we're gonna do now is get the head unit out. So what I'm gonna quickly do first is I'm gonna take the glove box out, which makes it a lot more easier, because obviously you're gonna be dealing with a lot more wires and um, putting antennas through as well. So if you take that out, it will give you more access. So these are T20 torque screws. So all you gotta do is literally just take those off, which is quite easy to do. Uh, there will be four torque screws on there. And there's one on the bottom here. So once you've opened all the screws, you just gotta gently push it and it'll come out. So you could take these off as well. There you go, because they just clip onto that, which makes it a bit more easier. And now, just push it up. There you go. Okay, so I've got this on, so I just need to quickly really take this off. So obviously for my car, I've had a cigarette lighter fitted here because I used to use a, um, it's an anchor little cable, it's Bluetooth audio. So I had a, this one connected here and I had another one here to be using as a USB. But you guys probably won't have that. So what you need to do is carefully pull this out and you will see there's a um, another little cable part here for the lights. So that's this one here. And now you can just root that out. And there you go, that's come off there. And now you can put this away. So now you can see, you'll have more space to now deal with all the wires. So if I put my hands through here, you can see it. there's more space now to move wires. Because obviously when you're putting it back in, there's going to be a lot of wires. So you just got to be moving it about. So I'm just going to do that now. So now what we're going to do is get this cable out, so there's quite a bunch of cables but the, you'll find it easily. So it's the bigger version of this, so what this happens is you get the original connector, the Vauxhall one, and you connect them together. So you can see there's all the little prongs there, which goes into here, so you can see there. And you just slowly push that up, that clicks into place, so that's now connected. And then you've got more wires here. Uh, you've got so they also provide you with this one as well 
So this is if you've got, for example, the other versions where you have just those two, you can have it on that. Because I know with some cars they have these versions instead of these bigger ones. So that's basically that. So you won't need that if you've got the, well, this version, the bigger adapter version of it. So you won't need that. So I'll put that one away. And we have also got these. So this will connect to the head unit. So you can see here, you got the front out. Uh, if you got a subwoofer, you can connect subwoofer on the brown one. You've got VIN 1, video out 2, and FLR. So it's all uh, coded out here. So these are going to be for your cameras. And if you want to like a front camera, I believe you can do front cameras as well. So that's that one. So yeah, so this is also for the power as well for the camera, I believe it was. So right and left. You've got your um, antenna. So the best thing with this is because you've got everything open, you can route this, put the antenna up there if you wanted to. So that's one thing you can do. And also you can do the same thing with the Wi-Fi as well. Route it through there and connect it up there. So you can do that. Uh, you also get the radio connector as well, so that's the adapter which would fit through here. So, as you can see, that just clips on, and then that goes onto the pumpkin head unit. You also get a mini USB to USB A female. Uh, you've got some extra cables here as well. So, this is for the microphone, the external microphone, that's if you want to have that on. You've got the, you can make the extension as well. So you connect that to the back of the head unit and route that through here. So then you can connect your Apple CarPlay uh, adapter if you wanted to, or just your phone USB. So, so it's really up to you if you wanted to do that. And obviously this is the Wi-Fi antenna. I think I just mentioned that one. So that's that. I'm just gonna get the head unit. So here it is. If you see in the back here, this is the main one, that black one there. So that would connect. There you go. Yeah, so now that's a tight fit there. You've got the other cables as well, so like this one. So if you wanted to fit the cameras and all that. That would go on this one here, uh, that one there. So you can see by the size, they all they will all fit in. So that obviously would go in there. And if you want to connect the external microphone, that will also go to the smaller one. So that one there, because obviously you can see there's four little holes there, which connects to this one, because that also has the four little holes. So it's quite easy to do. You just got to match into where it goes. So for now, I'm not going to do the camera just yet. I'm going to just um, fit this on with the, with the Apple CarPlay. Hopefully that should be working. So what I'm going to quickly do is whilst it's here, I'm just going to quickly test out if this is going to power on. So obviously you want to make sure that everything's working. So here's the radio adapter which I was on about. So that goes into here there. So that connects as so. There you go. So now, let's see if it powers on without the keys. Most likely I might need to put the keys in. There you go. So that's turned on. That's good news. So if you guys were doing um, just the head unit itself. It would literally just be putting the wires back, go through there and route the cable a bit more behind because obviously in there is going to be quite a lot of stuff going on. So, it won't. so you need to move around because obviously there's some bits there that the, all the wires don't go in because you've got brackets there. So you just got to move it around once, once you go through there. So you can see that's turned on. Uh, let's try out the... Well actually I'm going to try connecting my Bluetooth see if that works 
so auto connect so yeah let's see if this works so i'm going to try to play music because um, i know you can do bluetooth streaming so if i go to bluetooth so other devices so the device name should come up as car kit there you go and you got the pin number there so you can obviously change it if you need to but for now I'll keep it as what it says so now that's connected okay so there's the back Bluetooth streaming so now if I go to play a song for example and I will just quickly play this there you go as you can see it's actually working so yeah so that's working perfectly so if that is something that you guys wanted to do you can do that that's pretty cool actually the sound sounds a lot better than the standard one in fairness sounds pretty cool so yeah you can go through all the settings obviously once you fit it back in so what I'm gonna do now is uh, connect the Apple CarPlay so I'm just gonna switch that off That should power off, there you go. So what I'm going to do is now start routing the wires through because I want to use the GPS and the antenna. So you've got the two red ones here, so you can see GPS there, you've got Wi-Fi there. So if I get my GPS one, so this is the GPS, it's a small little square one. So open that up. And what I'm going to do is route that through from here to there because uh, I know there's a magnetic part up there which actually holds it quite tight up there just untangle all this there you go so the best way to do it is put the wire in and get the wire really so as you can see it's dead easy and now just get the wire up and there's the antenna there we go so where I'm gonna place it is try to do it right behind the so I could do it behind this because it's magnetic I'm going to put it behind that, like so, so that way there should be enough space. So that's behind there, and obviously just root the wire, there we go. And then the antenna, the antenna I believe is a double-sided tape, yeah, so this is a double-sided one, so if you guys want to, you can actually put this onto the glove box, the so top of the glove box. So you can wire this through where the light is, or any you could drill a hole in furnace if you wanted to. It's really entirely up to you what you guys want to do. So I might do that one last. Or the other option is you can actually connect it to there if that's what you want to do. But I will do that onto the box itself, the uh, glove box. So what I'll do. Now let's connect this one. So this is the GPS, so you can see the GPS. Take the red part off and connect this. So make sure obviously it's tight on there. There you go. And then with the extra cables, you can literally root that there. So you can push it back in furnace because there will be space because they're quite thin the wires so that will be fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the antenna on for you guys and then uh, i'm just going to put it into the glove box so you may as well quickly use that so open this up actually this can be useful to make them shorter so i'm probably keeping that so at least that way you don't have um, wires going everywhere. It's probably best to keep that safe. So get these all out. So 
So what I'm going to do is do the same thing with the GPS, route it through. So I'm going to put my hands through there. There you go. And now I've got the wires coming out here. So I'll probably just leave that there for now and connect this one. So the last red one, which says Wi-Fi here, says up there. Take that out and we will connect this one. I'm going to try to do it up because obviously I've got some connections to go up there. If I do that. I need to make sure it's on tight. There we go. Loosen that one up. And put that one up as well. There you go. There you go. So obviously these are going to be for the... So if you're going to be plugging a re um, reversing camera, one would go up there. If you've got a mic or subwoofer, so they'll all connect up to there. So the next thing I'm going to do is, because I'm not going to do the reversing camera just here, that's going to be on a later video, because my uh, camera hasn't arrived yet. So I'll do the video again for you guys. So what I'm going to do is cable this through. Uh, also going to go through this. I'm going to have that in the glove box. So I'm going to connect this one. And that can go anywhere really. So I'm just going to put in the bottom one here. So hopefully that should do the trick. And I'm going to get that also to come out through there. There we go. So then that's going to go into the glove box. You can see that's the female version. So then you can connect your own device if you wanted to. But obviously I'm going to be connecting my Apple CarPlay adapter in there. So to test it out, obviously I'm going to, what I'm going to do is get my Apple CarPlay one out, which is this one here. I'm going to just quickly connect that for now because I want to test it out if it's going to work. So with the memory card that they have provided, which is in here, so it'll be in the same bag as your adapter. So I'm going to get that out. This is very important to have. So what I'm going to do is power the car back on again so that I can um, install the software that's needed for the Apple CarPlay. So if I go in there, so you can see there's a slot there. Okay, so that's the wrong way. So it goes up that way. There we go. So that's in. So if I go to home, and then go here, file browser, GPS, and this is the one. So the one I want is most likely there, there we go. It's got the Apple CarPlay sign on this, so that one. Uh, install. App install, so open. Please, oh, what's this? Uh, use by default for this USB. Yep. Please insert the box. Please uh, use the USB cable to connect to the USB port. So it's found the port, so it's registered that. So now I'm going to connect the USB and then connect my phone. So now, hopefully, there you go. So it's in connection, so hopefully this should work. So you can see there, allow CarPlay with auto box while phone is locked, so allow. And there you go, there it is. So you can see, because obviously I'm on iOS 12, uh, this also has the latest one as well, so you can see if I swipe it, I've got Google Maps up there, I've got my WhatsApp, so everything is sorted there. So if I press car again, it goes back here, and you can see autoplay, so you can press that and we're back here. So pretty nice little thing, so use Google Maps, so you got that, you could go to your music, so you can play your songs if you wanted. So there you go. So you can do that as well. So that's pretty good. So at least that's working. So what I'm going to quickly do is take the memory card out and see. Hopefully that should still work. I should have uh, took it out the safe way. My mistake. So if I give you that again. There you go. So it's on there. So that's all good. So you press home. There you go. So that all works, so I don't think I've got any audiobooks, but it's at least it's working. WhatsApp, there you go. 
that's how you install the Apple CarPlay which is pretty nice and nifty to have these days obviously you want to have the latest and greatest and the fact that this one does it it's just it's amazing and the sound quality is, is really good so really happy with the purchase on this so what I'm going to do now is put this back inside Let's keep this safe because it will come to use one day so put that back leave it in the box so I'm going to switch that off now and what I'm going to do is root every single thing to go in there so I'm just going to quickly take this out for now so it just makes it a bit more easier so if I leave that out there and start slowly moving everything in so what you're going to do is this cables ready so that's that one and that's my antenna one so if I put my antenna down there So what you're gonna do is get the main cable and tuck it up so slowly so that way you have more space to fit in with all these. So that can all go over there. So because obviously there's quite a lot of wires, you will just need to push all those behind. So this is when you need to go to this side and just pull all the wires so if you can obviously try to do as much as you can from here so they don't get caught up or with anything so I'm going to quickly go to that side and pull all the wires so what I'm going to do is pull all the wires, so as you can see, there's the big wire there. So I've got this to come out here, so that freed up a lot of space. So now all you do is just push the main one in so you can see. That's now all flushed in, so it looks much nicer. There you go. So there's nothing sticking out or anything. And all you got to do is, because obviously I've got my cigarette lighter there, so that's my live wire. I'm just going to quickly click those back again. So you guys probably won't have that if you don't have a cigarette lighter in the glove box. I did that because of Bluetooth audio, but that's not really important. So, I've, so obviously I kept these out separately so I can actually put that into the glove box. So that's the Wi-Fi antenna and then my USB there. So that's all connected inside there, which is all nice and safe. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is connect back the box here. So what I'm going to do is connect this back in. So you can see there's some holes here, which is very good. So if you've got a USB, pull the USB and put it through here. If it fits, there you go. So now you've got one of the wires now sorted, which is good. And if you've got any other wires, obviously you might need to get those. But if you don't, that's good, because mine is a separate one. But what you're going to do is get the Wi-Fi antenna and put it through where the light would go. Because obviously it's a thin wire, you can still connect the light back in there again. So what I'm going to do is now connect my cigarette uh, lighter back in again. Although I actually won't probably don't really even need it. Fairness. So now I'm just going to quickly make sure that that is working still. So I've just connected my bit on there. So what I'm going to do is now go back to the original stuffs. So now you put this, so this is for the lights for the glove box, so that goes in through there. And what we're going to do is now pull all these cables. So it goes in like so, and have this come out there. Okay. Oops. 
So make sure you got the light cable in and all you gotta do is now push it back nice and gently. There you go. So you can see all the little lines aligned now. So that's all perfect. And what you're gonna do now is get your light back and put it back in. There you go. Now all you gotta do is put that through there. So probably the first thing would probably be better to do is put your Wi-Fi antenna. I'll probably put it around there. So what I'll do, somewhere around there. I'm just gonna stick that on. So what I've done is I've just actually rooted the antenna here instead, so this can fit in. Um, you can drill a small little like small little line here, so you can fit it there if you don't have a hole already. So you can do that, or the other thing you can do is you could have actually put the wire through there and then connect it. So it's up to you, but I thought I'll just put it up there since I've already done it. So that's the possible option. So put the so before connected to the unit, put the wire through there and then connect it. So that way you can put it up there, there, or wherever you like. I've just put it there because I've got a hole already, so that makes no difference in the installation. So now you've got the USB here as well, so I'll leave that. So what I'm going to do is connect all the torque screws back on again. So what I'm going to do is now put all the screws in. So I've got all my stuff now sorted. Got the antenna there, my USB. So that was literally all for today's one. So once I get my camera, I will make a new video for you guys. So you can see how that's going to be a lot more longer time needed. But it will be worth having the camera. It is useful. So I'm just going to quickly finish that off. So now what we're going to do is put the lid back on again. So how this one will work. Put it in. There we go. So make sure it's at the end part so when you then you just pull it down. So that's when it will connect. So make sure both are in there so that's in. And there we go. So make sure it's in the back so you've got space there and then you just push those two together and then push those two together and now it's all done. There you go. And that's perfect. So now what I'm going to do is get my my Apple CarPlay, well the CarPlay cable here and put that in there. I'm just going to push the wire back because I won't really need that much. I'll probably just do that in fairness. There you go. And um, yeah, so now I can just connect my USB there. So you'll have always Apple CarPlay now. There you go. And now you can just leave your phone in there, sorted, and then you'll have your connection in there with the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So obviously, I, I installed the uh, Apple CarPlay version, but if you want to do the Android Auto, you just click on Android Auto and that'll come up, or you can have both if you wanted. So yeah, that's um, how you do that. That's all the installation done. Everything looks nice and clean. There you go. So I'm going to quickly now do the last checks and test it out. So I'm going to quickly show you guys the Wi-Fi. So if I go to settings here and then go to network and internet, so you can see Wi-Fi is on, so click on that. So now it's going to be searching for Wi-Fi, so you can see here it has found it. So that's our ones here. So I'm just going to enter the password. So once it's connected, so I'm going to press that. So now it's going to be connecting. So it's connecting there, authenticating. There you go, so that should now be connected. There you go, so now that's showing us connected. So you can go back there, so you can do hotspot, all the other good stuff. So you can, uh, so you got the connection here as well, so with Bluetooth, apps, display, so you got the sound there as well. So you got the ketone off, which I prefer. You got the storage as well, you get 25 gigs, 21% used. Yeah, you got Google services and systems, and you could do also like updates as well. I believe it was. So if I go MCU updates, you got system update. So if I see what system updates they've got, I 
I don't think it allows you. But I'll leave that as it is anyway. Don't really want to mess with that. But um, so yeah, you got the Wi-Fi now connected. So if I go home and go to Google Play, it should tell me to sign into a Gmail account. So it's just checking info. As you can see, you got the Wi-Fi there, the location. So hopefully that should be working. I'll use Chrome just to quickly make sure. So there you go. So sign in to Chrome. So all you do is just press sign in. And it's just checking info. Not sure why this takes a bit of time. But obviously once you are connected, I won't be doing all that. So what that's doing, I actually want to test out, now that I've got the glove box, uh, my wire and everything in there. So I'm going to connect that. There we go. So that's now powered and charging. I'm just going to press home and see if I go to autoplay. Uh, use by default. Okay. There we go. And there you go. That's all done. And you can go through everything here as well, which is pretty cool. So that's one nice way to get Apple CarPlay as well. So really happy with that. So if you guys want to buy this, I'll leave on the uh, links in the description box below for you guys. And hopefully this video helped you. So hopefully you guys can fit it yourself as well. Um, so yeah, so... Thank you guys for watching. So I'm going to be doing a video, well, a reversing camera video soon. So uh, please make sure to subscribe and uh, please do click on the bell icon so you can find out as well when I do upload. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.